Hey guys, so I did film my foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to learn my foundation routine, then just keep watching. But let me tell you beforehand, your foundation routine is not going to look bomb if your skincare routine ain't good. Like you cannot go without washing your face and not treating your skin before you do foundation or anything because like literally if you have texture on your skin because you don't take care of your skin right like especially your face your foundation whatever foundation you use is not going to work for you because that's not how it works you have to treat your skin before you apply any kind of makeup on your skin so i usually end up using the l'oreal clay masks um i'll put a picture or somewhere in here the mask that i'm talking about and it's bomb guys it's fucking bomb and then um, for the cleanser that I use like every day, it's either the Bior Charcoal one or the um, the Clean and Clear like burst ones are just good. So that's what I use for every day. So before I apply foundation, I always use jojoba oil because I do have normal to dry skin. This jojoba oil is perfect for your skin because it will sink into your skin. How many times did I say skin? Take a shower every time I said skin. But um, yeah, this won't sit on your face. It will literally soak in and it will basically, you know, soak in all the good health vitamins into your skin. It won't just be, okay, you know what I'm saying. Okay, god damn. Anyways, yeah. I applied this before my foundation. I let it sit for about a couple minutes. And then the foundation that I've been loving, 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 loving are the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundations. Um, I have them in two different colors because this foundation literally, well, in my, in my opinion, it freaking oxidizes like crazy. So the first time I bought this foundation, I got it in Classic Ivory because i seen a review where everybody's like, go and shade it up. I'm never a Classic Ivory in anything. It was still too freaking dark. Like, it oxidized crazy. So then I went in and bought the Porcelain. And at first, it looks super white. But then since it does oxidize, it ends up evening out with my skin. So sometimes I do just go in with this alone or I just apply a little bit. A little bit of this one since it is darker I apply it always with my fingers so I hate that my lighting is horrible like I feel like it looks greenish I don't know. so you see how it looks too white it will oxidize later in the video you're gonna see it's gonna even out together so I go in with the real techniques beauty sponge Okay, don't go in on me before you finish this video. I know this is too white right now, but I told you this oxidizes, so it will later on in the video you will see that it ends up matching me perfect. So, hey, come hey, in, hey, come in, no, 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 don't judge me, eh? Don't judge me. God damn, you hear that? No, now, oh my God, I can't even look at myself. My God, it does not exist bad in person. I promise. No okay. Don't mind my foundation. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. Don't mind it right now. Okay. Dude, I can't take myself serious. Go in with the concealer because that's what I do after I conceal. And I always go for these three concealers. I either use the BH Studio Pro Concealer or the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer or the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have this one in NC20, this one in Ivory, and this one in 104. But today, I think I'm gonna go for better skin with a little bit of the BH.
Okay, so then after concealer, I do use a new setting powder. This is not technically a setting powder, but I use it for setting. This is a loose Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair Light. So, let me go do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Be able to do videos with the, the baby We just have to make a part. Okay, so um, then after that, new bronzer that I discovered that I love is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Bronzer. And this is in deep. Guys, this smells like coconuts. Like coconuts. So I bought these um, highlighters on AliExpress and they just came in. These are the Beauty Glaze Liquid Glow Highlighters. I forgot that I wanted to use this. But, um... Like a little... You know those famous little liquid highlighters. Look how bomb. Guys, I got this for like a dollar. I mean, they did take, take a long time to get here, but these are bomb. Like, they're so pretty. I wanted to use this. Let me see. So pretty. This freaking, this is, I feel like, the first highlighter that I ever tried that was bomb. Like, I think the first highlighter that I had was the Jaclyn Hill one, and I didn't even like it. After I bought this one, like, I never used the Jaclyn Hill one. Can you add it on top of the highlighter? Um, always used my MAC Old Darling, but I wanted to use the um, Wet n Wild one, but girl, you can't leave Old Darling back there. <sighs> my little baby. This is, this is bomb. I just started wearing blush again, and I don't know how I feel about it, but... I'm going to go in with my BH brush. And this is the e.l.f. blush palette. I'm going to use this one mixed with this one. So yeah guys, this is the end of my foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. 